Alright, this is how to make um, a timer, just like a regular old timer. You can do category, just name it timer, new trigger. Um, let's say, like, it's a certain amount of time. This you can change to whatever you want. Um, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna set it to like after one second of the game so that we won't have to wait long when I show you next but actions this you this you cannot change I will tell you what parts you can but there's only like one maybe two but you go to um it's a game crap uh right you go to uh, countdown timer. Okay, start timer. Click timer. Edit variables. Create a new variable. Just name it timer. You can name it whatever you want. Oops. Uh, this one has to be a timer. Um, as a one shot. If you want it to keep repeating, you go to repeating. We're gonna do a one shot, and then it'll expire in. Let's say, uh, yeah, 30 seconds is fine. That's seconds, so, yeah. Um, and then, you do, oops, a new trigger, and then you go, this is for when it ends. Um, you go, um, Uh, timer expires timer timer uh, that's the same exact thing as that one would be make sure it's the same one as that if it's not then or that if it's not then it's not gonna work then you go to actions and then this is whatever you want it to do once it ends um but then you do to get rid of it First, you put like, like, do nothing. That's what you wanted to do. You don't have to have do nothing, obviously. Then a wait about like 0.5 seconds. It barely has to be anything. And then you create a new action. That's when you have to have, um, Oh, you can edit the time on the first one, too. And then you go to... Oh. Countdown timer. And then you go to... Um... Hide. Last created timer window. And then... It... Would work now. It'll be up in the top corner and then here but yep there you go um okay